What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute hit upper body and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 40 minute arms and abs workout. We're gonna be operating in HIT style today. So high intensity, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. We're gonna start with the upper body portion today, rock through back, chest, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. And then we're gonna rock into the abs at the end of the workout. So push your strength today from minute one all the way to minute 30. I want you to go hard, okay? How can we push ourselves? Dumbbells today. I've got 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 pound dumbbells. My heavier dumbbells will be for my moves like an overhead tricep extension, a single arm row, and chest press, okay? Lighter dumbbells will be for my fly movements like back fly, tricep kickbacks. So make sure you have weights that accommodate both of those exercises, okay? Also make sure you have water and a sweat towel. And before you head out today, please, if you could do us a huge favor, if you haven't already, or if you're new to the channel, the biggest way to support this channel so these workouts keep coming to you every day and they reach more people every day is just to subscribe. It's 100% free. You click, click the red button right below the video and it'll tell you every day, hey, your workout's up and available for you. So I would just love to be there for you every day and I'd love for more people to see these workouts. That's our biggest help in this mission, okay? So I appreciate you, make sure You've got everything set up and ready. Give me a big deep breath. And let's go ahead and jump into this workout, okay? Thumbs up if you're ready. We're gonna start warming up, crossing your arms right over your chest in three, two, one, let's go. And start with your breathing here as well. Okay, so I've got a wide stance just for balance, but I want you to open up your lungs. There you go, three, two, one, good, backward circles, just the left arm. Okay, keep your other arm straight out front to keep your chest straight. Five, four, three, switch directions. One, here we go. There you go. Five, four, three, switch arms, and we're going backwards. Big chest opener. Get the shoulder mobility here. And make sure everything is nice and warm before we start. Three, two, switch directions, one. Great job. Three, two, one, great job. Now let's hinge it forward just halfway. Cross over and really exaggerate the cross so your upper back is rounding a little bit. There you go. Three, two, one, good. Place your hands down on the ground and then walk back to a plank for me. Go into a high pike here and I want you to push your head back behind your arms and then right over your fingertips. Okay, just a little bit more shoulder, shoulder mobility. I really want you to think about the idea today that you are in complete control of your intensity. An upper body workout is sometimes not as easy to think I have control as a cardio workout, but you do, every rep. Are you really pushing yourself? Are you really challenging yourself with the weights that you're using? Go ahead and walk it back to your toes. Good, slowly roll up. Really push yourself today, okay? You have the control. Pull your fingers back and over. Okay, the last couple reps of every three rounds of 30 seconds should be reps where you're really pushing it or really pulling it. Switch arms. Okay, it's called progressive overload. So if you don't have access to heavier weights right now, increase the intensity or the time under tension. Flip it over. So can you not rest so long at the bottom or can you not rest so long at the top? Just keep that muscle working. That's what we're gonna do today, okay? And we're gonna do it together. Don't think I'm just standing up here preaching to you to do these things. I'm gonna be right beside you doing the exact same thing, okay? It's my workout as well and I want you to see I'm struggling, I'm pushing myself, okay? You guys ready? All right, we're gonna start off with a back circuit. Your first 30 seconds is a left arm row. Your options are put your hand here on something, put your hand on your knee, or you can come down to the floor, okay? But left arm row. Let's go here for 30 seconds. In two, one, let's go. Good, I want a nice flat back and I want you really focusing on pulling your shoulder blade in towards the middle of your back. 30 seconds here, 12 more seconds, let's go. 10. 
five, four, come on. Three, two, one. Same exact thing on the other side. We're going right arm row. Let's jog in place here. Think about the weights. We've got three rounds, okay? Left arm row, right arm row, and then back fly. That's our first circuit. Okay, let's go into the right arm in three, two, one. Here we go. Good, pull back towards your lower back. 15 seconds, good job. And after this, I'm gonna move down to my lightest set of dumbbells for that back fly. Good, three, two, one. There we go, back fly, my lightest dumbbells. I'm hinging forward. Okay, you have the option to do one arm at a time. Okay, or if you can, both arms. Squeeze back, okay? Two, one, let's hinge. Here we go, squeeze, release. Now make sure this is not a straight lateral raise, but you're going instead of lateral, back. So you're down, back, with a little bit of bend in your arm. Think about shoulder blades coming together and then releasing together. There you go. Six, five, four. One more, two, one. Good, and we're back to your left arm, single arm row. Think of the weight that you're using for round one. Can you step it up for round two? I'm serious on these, try it. Form is everything, but challenge is everything as well. Challenge yourself. Left arm, let's go. Great job, breathe, come on. Almost there, 10 seconds. Two, one, good, jog it out. Round number two of your right arm. Where are you on the difficulty scale? If you have those lighter dumbbells and you don't have a heavier dumbbell to challenge you, I want you to not rest so long here. Keep it pulling, pulling. Round two of your right arm, let's go. Good job, 12, 11. Four, three, come on, two, one, Lightest dumbbells, we're back to the back fly. And you've got one more round of each after this, okay? <sighs> Big squeeze in those shoulder blades, like your shoulder blades are coming in to touch right around the upper part of your spine, okay? Three, two, one, let's go, fly it out. Squeeze, relax. Think about driving your knuckles back behind your back. There you go, does that visual help? Not your elbows, but your knuckles. There we go. Three, two, one. Last round, are you ready? Left arm, we start there. This is your last round of all three. Then we move on to some chest, okay? Five seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, one, left arm row, come on. Big pull, like you're strong and you're trying to get stronger. Come on, 12, 11, don't slow down. Good, five, give me two more and rest, great job. Jog it out, good. Well, we're going over to the right arm, last round. Come on, right arm. Good challenge, good pace here. Let's go in three, two, one. Drive that elbow back.
Great work, come on. You can do it. You're strong and you're getting stronger every day. Nine, eight, two, one, and rest. Back fly, last round. If you've been going light and you've got some more left in the tank, we're almost done with back exercises. This is it. Push yourself. Good form, good challenge. Two, one, all right, here we go. There you go. Know that today is day one. You're strong and we're getting stronger. This is our mission. Come on. Let's go five, four, two, one, and breathe for 30 seconds. Amazing job. Grab water, and we're going into a chest press. All right, so 15 seconds. If you've got a bench, you can use that. I'm just gonna be using the floor today. Okay, so just lay it down. Elbows to your side, you come up and press. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Now the key here is to not rest too long at the bottom. So give me time under tension. You're circling right around your chest, not up around your shoulders. And I say this because I've watched it before. It's the greatest thing about my in-person personal training career, which is no longer what I do, but I got so much experience from watching what our bodies do. Three, two, one, great job. Now, we're gonna come on up to a standing fly, okay? Alternating left and right, so arms are out to the side, cross over and down, okay? Left, then right, so I've got medium dumbbells here. Ready, let's go. So you're thinking the palm of your hand is serving a platter to someone across your body. On the other side, keep that pinky high so you don't dip the platter down. You're gonna feel the bicep working as well, which is fine. Chest muscles and bicep muscles are synergistic and that 99% of the time work together. Okay, so if you feel it there as well, that's fine. Two, one, now you're gonna lay back down either these weights or your lightest for a chest fly, okay? So we're going out to the side, big open, wrists are past your elbows, and back up at the top. Ready? Let's go. Good. So that's your three chest exercises. A press on the floor, a standing fly, and a flat fly. Great job, let's keep this moving. 10 more seconds. And then round two of your chest press, you know what to do. Go up if you can. Three, two, one, rest. And if you're someone who's lucky enough to have a barbell set around you at home, try the chest press with a barbell. Bench press with a spot, of course. Okay, come on down, we're right around the chest. Round number two, in two, one, let's go. Here we go. 15. Keep breathing, are you breathing with me? Good, six, five, three, two, one. Come on up, standing fly. Now, what did it feel like first round? If it was too easy, I know, I say this all the time, I sound like a broken record, but Let's go, challenge yourself, okay? Open it up, give me a good squeeze across. Two, one, let's lift. Up, good. Really squeeze over. Like you're trying to get your elbow right into the middle of your chest. There you go. Six, five, two, 
One, good, lay it down, chest fly, nice and flat. If last round was too easy, you go up. And then we've got one more round of all three of those. We're moving on. All right, this workout is moving quick and we're working hard. Two, one, fly, let's go. Make sure your wrists are past your elbows. So this is not a fly, right? You see my wrists right over my elbows? This is just a wide press. Okay, you're opening your arms out, away, away, away. Your wrists are away from your body. They're the farthest point from your chest. Two, one, and rest. Here we go. Last round. Chest press, bench press, chest press. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, press it up. If you don't have heavier dumbbells, you're not resting at the top or the bottom. You keep pushing, down, up, down, up. Good job. Come on, 13, 12. Four, three, good job. Two, one, rest, standing fly. Come on up, I know this transition is down, up, down. But we got it, we train functionally to get up with ease, to sit down with ease. Two, one, let's go. Good, elbows crossing, squeeze, let's go. Here we go. 15 seconds. Good, eight, seven, three, two, one, rest. Last round of flies, here we go. And then we'll grab some water, okay? Whew. Gracefully drop down there and roll all over my dumbbells. Okay, four, three, two, last round of fly, let's go. Big open, I want you to squeeze hard as you come back in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good job, feel the stretch and then feel your chest pulling itself back together. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Grab water and take a big deep breath. You're working so hard and I'm so proud of you. We're moving on to hammer curls. Left arm, hammer curl is where we're starting. Okay, one arm only, hammer curl. The left arm, okay? So, arm is down by your side, palm is facing your leg. You're right here. Two, one, let's go together. Hold your hand right on your core to make sure you're not swinging or rotating if you want. Good job. Eight, seven, five, four, two, one. You're resting and we're going right over to the right arm. Whew, I know, your hands are tired, mine are too. Stretch right here for a second in our rest. Okay, we'll go again in six, five. All right, right arm. Three, two, one, hammer curl, let's go. Challenge yourself. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain, the thunder <laughs> outside. Keep pulling. Remember, your bicep's only job is to bend your elbow. That's what we're doing here. Just bend with control. Six, five, four, two, one, and rest. Lighter dumbbells now. We're going, <clears throat> excuse me, front open face curls, alternating. You're here, pull and pull. Okay, as you lower one, you start pulling the other. 
two, one, let's go. And you try not to rest too long at the bottom of either one. So when you get here, right before you're relaxed, you pull and you start releasing this guy. Great job. 10. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good work. And we're back. Left arm hammer curl. Now this time I'm gonna give you a little add-on possibility if you would like. Okay, left arm curl. You can drive your right knee. Okay, just a little movement. Two, one, let's go. Curl, drive. And if you want, you can balance. Okay, keeping yourself centered right in your belly button. Good, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, same thing on the other arm. Okay, so we're curling right. Feel free to lift your left knee, okay? All right, here we go, four. You're doing great, three, two, one, let's go. You might have to take a couple reps to get used to it. Focus on the curl though, that's the most important thing. Fifteen seconds. Seven, six, four, three, come on, two, one, let's go, come on. Next exercise, Woo. alternating curls, pull and pull. Keep pushing, these reps should not be easy, you should not be coasting right now. You can see me struggling, I want you to see that, I want you to know I'm in it with you. Two, one, let's go. And I'm not making this up either, <laughs> I'm not dramatizing the struggle, I'm really pushing myself, because I know you can do it, I expect you to do it. I expect that out of myself too. Come on. Six, five, come on. Three, two, one, rest. This is it, last round. Single arm curl. Start with the, right, the left. <laughs> this is my left, but it looks like the right to you. So, start with the left, two, one, here we go. Curl balance, or if you want, curl lift. Okay, but the most important thing is the control. It always helps me to put my hand right over my belly button so I feel my core engaged. Like you're bracing, like someone's about to go boxing on your stomach for practice. You brace it. That's what it should feel like. Three, two, one, I'm gonna get one more in, we switch. Here we go. All right, same thing. Just about, if you saw a water balloon coming at your stomach, you would brace, right? That's what I want you to feel here as you work on your balance. Brace, two, one, let's curl. Feel the difference? Great job. Last round of our right arm curl. Let's go, 15. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, alternating. Let's go. Last bicep exercise, then we move on to our heaviest tricep. Okay, let's go four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Curl, curl. Elbows can be right in front of your hips or right at your side. Whatever is a comfortable flexion angle for you. So if you have wider shoulders, this would not make sense, right? Just straight down from your shoulder. 12, 11, 6, 5, come on, keep it there. 4, 
three, don't stop, two, one, now you can rest, great job. Okay, triceps, here we go. Whew. Water, first. <laughs> All right, two triceps, two shoulders. First tricep exercise is your overhead extension. We're right up here, okay? Bend, straighten. Let's go in three, two, one. Pull your core in. Let's go. Elbows stay pinned right over top of your shoulders. Great job. The only thing moving is your forearms. Let's go. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Rest. Throw that heavy dumbbell down. We're going down to our lightest. Okay? You've got left arm kickback, right arm kickback, straight arm kickback. Looks like this. Left, right, straight. Okay? And then elbows back up. Ready? Let's go. Left, right, put them both down, straight. Now notice when I do my straight arm kickback, I'm not diving into it and swinging here, okay? I'm doing straight arm, straight arm. Nothing moves but my arms. Good job. Six, five, three, two, one, and we're back, overhead extension, okay? Only two for the triceps and two for the shoulders because I know you've used both of these muscle groups throughout the whole rest of the workout. So we're back to the overhead extension. Here we go, two, one, bend and push. Good work, open palms. Nine, eight, seven, five, three, two, one. Great job. Whew. Now just give me the left arm. Left arm only. We bend. So we do a kickback, boom, and then a straight arm. Bend, kickback, straight arm. Ready? This arm only. Here we go. Kickback, straight arm. Think pinky lift. Pinky lift, pinky lift. There we go. Keep it moving. Good, not swinging, but switching positions. Flex, flex. There we go, eight more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Last round of your tricep overhead extension. And then we've got one last round on the right arm. Straight arm and bent arm. Okay, overhead. Here we go, four, two, one. Let's get it. Good, balance here. If you wanna do a little leg lift, feel free. A little march, feel free. 13, 12. Six, five, three, two, one, and rest. Hi, yay, yay. Okay, right arm, kick back, and then straight arm push back. Come on, you're doing great. We've got two shoulder exercises after this, then we move on to abs, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Bent arm, whoo. There you go, push through, push through. Push, bend, lift, control the pace, too. Four, come on, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. 30 seconds, grab some water. Ay, ay, ay. And we're gonna start with alternating shoulder press. 
a 45 degree angle. So instead of being straight out to the side, you're right here. Okay, halfway between all the way in front and all the way to the side, 45 degrees. We'll start in 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Meet together at the top. 45. Good job. 10 more seconds. We're going a lot of posterior and anterior deltoid right here, right now. We're moving into the lateral one next. Three, two, one, rest. All right, lightest dumbbell. Okay, we're going right out to the side. Okay, so bent arms right here in front of your legs. Straight, straight, okay. Two, one, let's go. Lifting your wrist right out to the side. Wrist to the sky. If you're feeling good about this, you don't have dumbbells that are heavy enough for this to be challenging, you go double time. Okay? Wherever you're at, you're maintaining control. You're not swinging, you're not popping, not bobbing back and forth like this. You're staying right here. Three, two, one. Great job. 45 degree. Shoulder press. Whew. And that little uh, internal rotation at the top just activates your anterior deltoid a little bit more. Round number two. Push yourself, bump it up if you can. Let's do it. Good, dumbbells right to the face level and they're back up. Ten. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Good job. Push yourself. Come on, keep that up. Lateral raises. Here we go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yes, get in the zone here. You're strong and you're getting stronger. It's positive and it's full of potential, just like you. 10, nine, come on. Five, three, two, one, rest. One last round. Where are you at on, here's my 100% left of my arms. This is it, shoulder press and lateral raise, and we're on to abs. If you're thinking, maybe I can go up, let's go, I'm going with you. Two, one, 45, let's go. Good, 15. Nine, eight, Good job, five, one more, three, and rest. Okay, lateral raises. Then we're on to the core, give me all you've got left here. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, wrists are out from the body and lift. <sighs> Let's go. Come on, 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, three, two, one, rest. And you're coming down onto the ground. We're going right into our abs with a boat flutter. No dumbbells yet, okay? So come on down, you're going right here. Okay, two, one, let's go. The higher you go, the easier. So if you need to go high, go there, then start to lower. Little tiny quick chops, 
Your hips are rolled back onto the mat. If you need help here, hands are under your butt and you're a little bit higher. 15 seconds. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Pull that belly button down. Three, two, one. Flip over to your forearms. Plank body saw. Okay, you're on your elbows. Full extension, you're coming hands over and behind your thumbs. I mean your nose. <laughs> nose is over and behind. Ready, let's go. Pull your belly button in. Push all the way back, all the way up. Belly button stays low. Good job, 10, nine, Five, four, three, two, one. Flip over onto your right hip. Mermaid, side lift. You have one leg or two leg options. Okay, if you're lifting one, come under your elbow. It's here. If you're lifting two, you're here. Okay, ready? Two, one, let's go. Keep your legs together. By the way, if you're lifting two legs, make sure it doesn't look like this, okay? Ankles are locked together. 10 seconds, and we switch to the other side. You could probably predict that. <laughs> two, one, and rest. Whew, good, same thing on the other side. All right, two or one legs. Let's go four, three, two, one. Here we go. Fifteen seconds. You're doing amazing. Four, three, two, one. Now flip over to your back. Leg raises, okay? So you can have a couple options here. Hands under your tailbone. You can go one leg, easiest option. Two legs, a little bit harder. No hands, hardest, okay? Pick your level, let's go. Whatever your level is, you're rocking with me. Doesn't matter what it is, it just matters that you go with it, you go hard. Ten more seconds, come on. Two, one, good job. You're back to your boat flutter. Non-stop on this one, okay? Here we go, eight seconds. Boat flutter, so legs are up, arms are up. Three, two, one, right here. Hold your head if you need support. I know this is tough to go right into from leg raises. If you need to bend your legs, go there. If you need to go higher, go there. Keep that lower back flat. Whew. 10, nine, right after this, no break. You're going into your plank, body saw. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Flip it over, go right into it. 30 seconds, go up and back. Good job, 10 seconds. You go to left side, mermaid. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay it down and go. One or two legs. Thirteen, you're going over to the other side. 
Go, go, go. Six, five, four, three, two. Roll right over. You can just roll to the other side. Two, come on. Two or one, whatever you're doing. Fifteen, and you go. Last thirty seconds are just leg raises. Then we rest. You're right there. Come on. Ten, nine. Get ready for leg raises. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay on your back. Thirty seconds. Right here. Come on. This is it. Come on, stay with me, back is flat. Four, three, two, one, and feet down. Big deep breath. <sighs> Open your arms out to the side in a big T. Okay, and then I want you to uh, stack your knees and your ankles up and shift over, looking over towards your left hand. Keep your right arm on the ground. Good, go ahead and switch it over. Rotate over, leave this arm down. Anyone else's back pop right there? Great job, come on over and flip over to your hands and knees. I forgot to say you've made it to your cool down, but I figured you probably get that. <laughs> you did make it to your cool down, Woo! All right, knees are down, shoulders are down. Fingertips are pointed straight ahead and your thumbs are pointed to the ceiling. Really push your chest down. I want you to feel this in your lats. And if this is especially tight for you, if you look over at me right here, if it's really tight here, this could really be affecting your tricep overhead extensions and your shoulder press mobility, okay? The lats pretty much affect every overhead move. And if they're tight and it's super hard for you to get locked out or straight overhead, this muscle is why. And I need you to keep working on this muscle. Okay, come on back to a tabletop position and drop your hips down. Guys, I'm very, very proud of you today. Whew. I hope you love the workout just as much as I did. I hope you're always pushing yourself. I'm out here on stage every day pouring everything I have out for you and I expect you to do the same for yourself. If you're not sure how to do that, top three answers. Increase your weight, increase your speed, increase your time under tension. What is time under tension? It's the time that your muscle is actually working between resting, okay? So if we take a bicep curl, for instance, come on up to a standing position for me and we'll cross our arms over our chest, okay? I'm gonna get you started here. And I'm gonna show you time under tension means right here in a bicep curl and right here in a bicep curl, your muscle's not working, right? Here, anywhere in this zone, from here to here, it's working. This is the time that it's under tension. So if you have lighter weights and you need to increase the intensity, don't relax so long here, don't hold so long here. Increase the time that you are under tension. Same thing for the squats. Try not to stand up here too long. Be here, come halfway, sit, okay? Or intensity increases by adding a jump. Okay, you can always step it up, always, always, always. And you've gotta know how to do that for yourself. Okay, search progressive overload online. If you need a little bit more clarification for that, I'm all about educating. So if you wanna search progressive overload, it'll give you great examples. It'll give you some really great research-backed scholarly articles is what you wanna be looking for. But always know, if you're capable, you better be stepping it up because you're worth it and because I know you have goals in mind. And if we can adjust anything, our workout intensity, it's gonna be the easiest to adjust in our lives. Okay, so let's go. Always keep pushing yourself. Always know that you can. Always know that you will. Keep that promise to yourself. I can and I will because you're worth it, okay? All right, before you head out today, make sure you remember that. If you repeat anything all day today, I can and I will. I can acknowledges the fact that it's not impossible. It's not too tough for you. I can and then I will puts it into action. I can and I will. It's not too tough and I'm gonna do it. Okay? You can and you will. We can and we will. 
So make sure before you head out today, you have subscribed to the channel first, lock in a completed workout by giving this video a thumbs up, and then subscribe to the channel, and then comment below, I can and I will. I love you guys, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>